Good evening, fellow Ghanaians. I come to your homes this afternoon with an important message. The Minister for Gender and Social Protection has been sacked. For those of you who said, who swore I wouldn't be able to sack her, I have sacked her. For a minister who prefers TikTok to actually being a minister, this is not the job for her. So right now she's been sacked, but she's currently been appointed as Ghana's ambassador to TikTok headquarters, herself and Jacqueline Mensa. Since that is what she wants to do, we have given her the chance to do it. Now, it was speculated on social media that I wouldn't be able to suck her because I'm dating her. <laughs> it has never happened. It will never happen. She is not even my taste. People also speculated that I wouldn't be able to suck her because she has my what? My nudes. <laughs> she doesn't have anything. It was just a strategic attempt to delay the process so that I can cribologize the whole process of sacking her. It has happened. She's no longer the Minister for Gender and Social Protection. That ministry is a very powerful ministry for her to use it to play any kind of games that she wants to use it to play. As for the Member of Parliament aspect, I don't know what the, member, the MPs are going to do to her. But as it stands now, she is not part of my party, and she, she, she ceases to be the Minister for Gender and Social Protection. Let this serve as a deterrent to all the other ministers who think they are untouchable because they contributed three cities to my campaign. We will not accept this. We will not allow you people to drag the reputation of this political party into what disrepute. So, yes, it has happened. Let me see your shouts, and ladies and gentlemen. My name is Adu D. Make cry, sorry, not to jump, say, oh yeah. This will be the president in favorite song, though. So, pass my culture, original song, no matter copyright, me, they the man number two, my boy. Now, on this episode, we are coming to talk about Madame Sarah Adua Safu, who has been sacked as the Minister for Gender and what Social Protection. This will be something the president should have done long ago. I didn't know why we had to get to this level or why she had to. Uh, be at post for 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 that long before they realize say nah this woman I a so make we come out time for the system and I and not be say I they can't jubilate because somebody losing job in uh, obviously then the job you know they like because nobody they left in position at work for like a year a very very sensitive um um ministry very sensitive ministry important ministry nobody if they give you job obviously she wasn't she wasn't interested i mean she has money her dad is rich she know they stay in ghana said what they are saying so you know be you, you understand but i know the bob why the, the the president has to like sit down uh, for this long before before he go come out with a statement and say oh she has been booted out of the ministry and so yes they issued a statement yesterday and it was signed by the director of communications at the office of the president eugene Ahi. Uh, in accordance with Article 81 uh, of the Constitution, the President of the Republic, Nana Adedankwe Kufuado, has revoked the appointment of Honorable Sarajua Safu, Member of Parliament for Domi Kwabinya, as, uh, as Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection with immediate effect. With immediate what effect? The Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources, Madam Cecilia Abnadapa, will continue to ask as caretaker minister for the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection until such a time that the press until such a time that the president uh the president Anadu Danko Kufuwa will appoint a substantive minister. Look how we are toying with what a very 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 important ministry like that. Brilliant move by the president. 
I'm not supposed to clap for him for this because he should have done this long ago. That is why people say, say ah, now what? I just have to get on the president or on the MPP that they know if he come out time for that. Like, I didn't get it. I didn't, I didn't understand the whole thing. But as I said, um, it chill. You know, we will take him like that. It is about time. Me, I feel like within that time frame that she was absent, if they paid her, she should refund the money too. No, you're near bro. You're near bro. No, we have to use people as scapegoats. And if you think you are bigger than the country, bro, you have been appointed as a minister. What me free and um, I got no be my so all effort to get you to come back has proven futile. Now what it's an um, now more oh, and I oh, no. I know a lot of people are afraid to say, but I'm not, I'm not coming, no, bro. They gave her a work, they gave her a job, they gave her the job. She refused to be the minister. So she had to be sacked, and she has been sacked. Me see, if within that time frame she was paid, she should refund the money. If she wasn't paid, that is fine. But nobody, they, uh, if you know work, I mean, you know the chop, right? A hand went on the work, they know they give her money. We said, we they need the money, do something. So that wants you for refund them. They make you move on. It's as simple as that. The president needed to do this long ago. I didn't know. Ah, how did we even get here? As for, I mean, I mean, she's still an MP. Though. I don't know the MP side, what they are going to do to her. Obviously, she's not interested in you before your political actions. She just wants to do video on TikTok. So maybe appoint her as the uh, ambassador to TikTok. Herself, uh, Felicia say, um, yes, uh, uh, the Asantua girl, then Jacqueline Mensa, then the a rabbin official, a reef official. Yes, then you go add this guy. Oh, this guy, one of my favorite TikTokers. She did, I mean, he did dance while he be Rasta man. Oh, I've forgotten the name. So that they can represent Ghana at TikTok head of uh, headquarters. Because this country, governing this country, being responsible for such a, a, a ministry, it's not a matter of TikTok videos. So, yes. I have endorsed this. This one there. You know, we say people they want anybody in downfall. She was given the job. The president believed in her. So she appointed her as a minister. And she failed to become a minister. In fact, she didn't want to become a minister. So what did the president do? The president took away the job. As simple as that. We don't have time for much trauma. We are trying to fix a country, not unfix it. My name is Koji Shaw, they see you on the flip side of things. We out.